The Treasury bills market traded on a calm note with mixed sentiments despite the over maturity of 65 billion naira. Now, traders at Axis Bank say they expect the mixed sentiments to continue today. Odinaka Liners, Omoko Kwa, fixed income dealer at Axis Bank, joins me to bring us up to speed on trading so far today. Odinaka, thank you so much for joining us today. Bring us up to speed. Where, what, what are we seeing at the Treasury bills market so far? Okay, hi. Uh, what we are seeing now is a, a little bit of rally. Uh, if you can recall last week after the MPC meeting, uh, we saw a bit of bearish sentiment where it uh, inched up about uh, 100 basis points. But what we are seeing now is a bit of a rally. Uh, second, secondary market one-year uh, treasury bills are trading around the 5.8% the handle. So I'm just, I was going, that was going to be my next question. Uh, the ripple effect, or rather, what you know, to expect following that rate hike. Uh, what analysts have been telling us so far is that they expect investors to demand more, you know, for their securities at the markets. So I'm just wondering if we're going to see rates go high, uh, how much higher can rates go? Remember that I know that we all know that the government is battling with the high uh, debt, uh, debt servicing uh, uh, stockpile, as it were. So, at what point, what, where can, where would we see a balance? Yes. So what happened uh, last week was immediately after that uh, MPC meeting, we saw a rate hike. Uh, bids on the bond market uh, rose about 70 basis points. Uh, so the next day there was an NTB auction which uh, caused a hike in rate. Uh, we saw the one year closing at 6.49, uh, which is about 179 basis points from where it closed at 4.7. So what we've seen then was a bit of a, a mixed sentiment. Uh, op opening this week, uh, we didn't see uh, the hike being sustained. Uh, however, what we saw was uh, one-year bills uh, we are trading at circa uh, 5.8, uh, which is contrary to the uh, uh, initial thoughts of it uh, being trading around uh, 6.2 levels. So, I mean, so was that much ado about nothing? Can we expect that this is how far rates can go? Uh, I think market is currently driven by liquidity. Okay. Uh, this week, uh, what we've seen was uh, fucking flow uh, kind of drove the market this week. Uh, in fact, today uh, we saw intensive rally in the bond market uh, where the mid tenor uh, we saw it uh, declining about 20 basis points. Uh, we've seen uh, the 2035 bond uh, being trading at 12.5, uh, 12.35% uh, 12 uh, uh, handle on the offer, 12.5 on the bid. So that's where we're, uh, that's what we're seeing currently in the market. We're not seeing that. Uh, rate hike being, uh, initial thoughts of rate hike being uh, translating hugely into the market. Now, at a time like this, uh, in, in an election cycle, not to, you know, take you in the political direction, I'm just trying to get into the minds of investors, but fairly institutional investors at a time like this, how does that, all of that, the environment affect their trading? Are they immune to all of that? Are they just focusing on, you know, the numbers, uh, of course, focusing on the monetary authorities and movements, uh, perhaps the U.S. Fed, where rates are outside of our shores. Are those the metrics that they basically follow? Oh, yeah. What we've seen is investors are still playing uh, cautiously, uh, staying on the sidelines. Uh, if you see what, what we see in the market, we don't have a lot of uh, these are foreign portfolio investor, investors in our market. So, But the institutional investors are just still playing it because uh, what they have in their location, some of them do have a cap on some of the allocations which they have to give uh, put in terms of uh, Naira denominated security. So we're not really seeing a lot of uh, uh, sentiment from the offshore guys. Remember the uh, euro bond market, uh, we are continuing to see uh, uh, decline in uh, an increase in yields across the euro bond uh, emerging market. So I think investors are tilted more towards that space than the local market currently. Still on investors, how are they? You know, thinking, uh, pondering over inflation. I mean, what experts tell us that we should expect if inflation co to continue to rise within Nigeria now to continue to rise uh, till year end. How are they thinking about that and the investment negative uh, real returns so far? How is that playing out for them? Uh, the negative real return has been there for quite a while. Uh, we can remember before the inflation went to 16.82, we saw it at 15.92, and treasury bills rates were being offered at 4%. That has over a negative 11, more than 11 basis points, 11% uh, uh, negative real return. But uh, we still saw those demand in the treasury bill space. So investors currently are no longer looking at those kind of parameters currently in terms of uh, their investment from what we see in the market. 
market is currently driven by liquidity rather than uh, other fundamentals. All right, we have just about 60 seconds left. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, how the Naira is trading against the dollar? Okay, yeah, what we've seen today is Naira is continuing to remain at uh, 419 levels. Uh, yesterday, we saw NAFEX close at 419.38, which is about uh, a 1 Naira 8 Kobo depreciation. And it closed at uh, 419.50, uh, which is about 75 Kobo appreciation. So we continue to expect uh, the INE to trade at those levels, uh, despite the debt of uh, fund supply. And the CBN will continue to intervene in those uh, in that space, both for the FPIs and the SMN receivables.